Hi guys, welcome back to my video. So today I'm going to show you how to fix this window regulator and it's cracked right here with this uh, GP well. So let's get to it. So first what I'm going to do is want to clean up all the surface nice and dry so especially if this um is kind of greasy right now you can see all line crack right here So, so how are we gonna fix this? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, first, prepare your surface. Then I'm gonna use this um, sandpaper. I use uh, happen to have a 150 uh, grid. It will work. All I gotta do is just sand this paper, uh, sand this surface right here. Just make it rough enough to uh, do for the bond though, uh, for the plastic GB weld bond. All I gotta do is just like lightly uh, sand. So the reason I'm doing this because uh, I couldn't find um, a window regulator. It's gonna be special order. At least uh, two or two or four weeks out. So I can't wait that long. So I have to uh, improvise. So I'm going to make it work if possible, but for time being, see how long this bondo will last me. And this uh, JB well. So JB well, I heard it's pretty good. I do see, I do have see some uh, pretty good success with that but I'm pretty sure it will work pretty good so it's kind of tricky to thin all the crevices right here small surface so I think it's good enough and this side also has a crack has many cracks you see it right there a lot of crack so as you all know supply for the uh, auto parts is uh, usually 10 weeks out, I mean, uh, two weeks out and some some of the parts is available and some are not so if your car break down right now just kind of waiting period like two or four weeks to get it fixed and to get all the parts to the uh, repair shop so it is kind of challenging sometimes but we just have to wait 
mean all the supply chains are disrupted. So it is kind of hard to get all the parts. Not that it used to be. It's not the case, so you know what I mean by that. And back in the day, every part store, part store, um, stock this thing. So, for example, um, I ran into a problem. Not a problem, I mean. A, uh, a brake job then it's on that 2017 uh, Lexus and it requires uh, front and rear brakes be able to find the rear brakes the rear brakes and the rotors and the front rotors well yeah and the front pads I mean then the rotors has to be ordered uh, from a different warehouse they said it takes two or three days but in reality, I have to wait, I think it was three days, I guess, and it came in this late afternoon, so I had that job finished. If you guys want to see that video, uh, please click right here, or here, then, uh, then you know what I mean. Uh, this looks Great job is pretty simple, and show I show you how to uh, to replace the front rotors and rear rotors and pads too. So do I need to read the instruction? Mm, no, I used this before so. Um, for those uh, first time use it, you have to read the instruction. So this thing it will set within fifteen minutes. So fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes, a setting time. So I have fifteen minutes. I usually uh, let it sit for 24 hours before I install into a car. So, so this tube has two tube. So it's pretty easy. You gotta turn clockwise. Remove this and it's dripping. Squeeze a small amount into a piece of paper and make sure there's no uh, no mess on your desk. That's why I have my plastic right here. Plastic cover. This plastic well is very strong. Okay, I do is push in like this. Cap it off. Boom. You are done. Look. Okay. Now it came with the mixing stick. Should it work? How come I don't smell it? Wow, well, this one's different. Usually, um, it has a strong odor. 
for this one, I don't smell it. Must be new improvement uh, chemical. So if you uh, enjoyed the video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. So we're gonna find out tomorrow is if this thing is properly mixed. I'm pretty sure uh, it mixed really well because it's in a t tube, so you're not uh, squeezing out more than the other. So this one is like a twin tube, you squeeze out at the same time, so. I doubt it can be uh, a problem. So just gonna work around it. Might be look ugly, but hey, it is a uh, temporary rally fix or a permit fix. That would be awesome. So I don't have to buy a new uh, window regulator. It's cracked in here. And back in the day, I usually um, get to the park store and get a new one. Instead of doing this, Just take a lot of time and uh, patient, I guess I would say. Patient because you gotta work and fill all these gaps. Alright, make sure I don't touch nothing. And this is a big crack right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Big crack right here across. Well, it, it's thickened already. Holy cow, this thing's so quick. Well, I don't think this thing will come off. Man, it's set really quick. You can see right here. It's already thickened. Jeez. Well, I think it will work. I have to find out tomorrow. Oh, as you can see, I messed up. You missed it. I missed it. Oh yeah, um, I will also provide a link down in the des description for you guys to uh, buy this stuff. And if you have any uh, question regarding your uh, car or your repair, 
please don't hesitate to uh, sign up the uh, Q&A. I have the Q&A every week. So I will be answering all the questions you might have regarding your car or your car repair or your car problem. The link is down in the description. Then I will see you there. So I host that every week. Cover every cracks there is. Alright, guys, so it might be looking kind of ugly or weird, but as long as this thing hold up. We are good. I'm satisfied with that result. So, we are done for now. So, I'm gonna wait until things set and I'll come back tomorrow with the, uh, within 24 hours. We'll check it again, see how this this thing set. Yep. So this missing tube. Oh no, not missing tube. A missing stick. Really useful. So there. Okay, that's it, you guys. So I will see you uh, in the next video. Okay, Luke is out.